Seam puckering, refers to the gathering of a seam either just after sewing or after laundering causing an unacceptable seam appearance. This problem arises due to uneven stretching onto plies of fabric during sewing, improper thread tension, wrong sewing thread selection, dimensional instability of the plies of fabric etc. Shading variations within different parts, arises due to improper cutting, bundling and numbering. Open seam or broken seam, portion of the garment that has not been covered by sewing thread. This happens due to improper handling of the parts of garments, improper setting, and timing between needle and looper or hook etc. Broken stitch, non-continuous sewing thread. It appears due to improper trimming or machine usage. Drop stitch slash skip stitch, irregular stitching along the seam. It appears due to improper handling of cut pieces or machine usage. Wavy slash staggered stitching, stitches are not straight. It appears due to improper handling of cut pieces, faulty feed mechanism, needle deflection or wrong needle uncut slash loose thread extra thread or loose thread on seam line it appears due to improper trimming or finishing sizing defects difference in measurement of various parts of garments wrong placement of pocket buttonhole embroidery and prints measurement discrepancy all these problems come from pattern section Poor ironing if not sufficient, there might be creases and crinkles on garment surface and if ironing is too heavy, there might be shining mark on garment. Misaligned buttons and holes Unfinished buttonhole, missing buttons, wrong placement of labels, hang tag, wrong folding or poor folding, improper packing into cartons, all these defects come from finishing section. Trims, accessories and embellishment defects, unmatched color of thread, button, and zipper tape, short zippers, faulty zippers, wrong labels, improper size of the labels, printing mistake of labels and cartons, broken poly bag, wrong hanger, improper embroideries, and prints etc.